In this video, I'm going to give a brief introduction to DMN. I shall describe what its capabilities are and why it is important. To fully describe how DMN works will require a much longer video than this one. You can find more details on DMN using the links provided in the description of this video. Here is a brief description of DMN, by no means comprehensive, but sufficient for you to know why it exists and help you understand the demo in the next video. What is DMN? DMN is an OMG standard for creating decision models. OMG, or the Object Management Group, is the same organization that brought you BPMN2 the business process model notation version 2 standard. DMN is to decision modeling what the BPMN2 is to business process modeling. DMN has been designed from the ground up for business users as a graphical language for decision modeling. DMN is directly executable. That means you need no translation before executing it. DMN is interchangeable among tools. This means that you can use one vendor's DMN model creation tool to create a DMN model and then export it and then import it from another vendor's execution engine to execute your DMN model. Here I give you the three components that make up DMN. The first one is the graphical language for decision modeling. You can see what I'm showing you here is called a DLD or Decision Requirement Diagram. It is a visual representation of your DMN model. In the later section, I shall show you how you can create such a data model. The second component is FIEL, which stands for Fanny Enough Expression Language. It is used to evaluate expressions, for example, in a decision table. And then the third component is meta model and interchange. It is this meta model and interchange component that allows the portability of your DMN model among various DMN. There are three levels of conformance defined by DMN. The first level requires support for authoring of DLDs, decision logic, and decision tables. But no execution is required. This means that it's basically just documentation only. Level 2. It includes everything in level 1, plus the support for the simplified, funny enough expression language. It requires execution. And level 3 is everything in level 2 plus the full implementation of the Fanny Enough Expression Language. And Red Hat Decision Manager is conformance level 3. DMN Technology Compatibility Kit. You can see the link here is a community effort which lists the conformance levels of various DMN tools or products on the market. Here is an example of a DMN model. As I said earlier, you create a DMN model by creating decision requirement diagrams. So this is actually a decision requirement diagram. There are several different components on this diagram. The first one is this decision note. You can see all these rectangles in here. They are called decision nodes. A decision node is where one or more input elements determine an output based on defined decision logic. The next question is where you're going to place the decision logic. The business knowledge model is where you paste your decision logic. In this particular example, 
we use a decision table as the decision logic. The next component is the input node, the oval shape in the diagram. You provide the data to drive your decision logic that has been defined. And here is an example of a decision table. Let's see what it consists of. First, there is a decision table name, which should be self-explanatory. Next, there is the heat policy. The heat policy defines how to reach an outcome when multiple rules match. In here, I specify U, which stands for unique. That means it's only one rule may match. But there are other options, for example, any, priority, first, collect with aggregation. There are a number of different options you can use. Next, rule number. Just identify the different rows in a decision table. Conditions. You can see that this column represents the condition and it's using the funny enough expression language to express the logic. And then last but not least is the action or result column. Whenever a particular condition is met, this is the outcome you expect. For example, if your application risk score is less than 100, then the outcome is that the risk is high. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use Decision Central to create a DMN model and then to execute it. It includes the following. One, how to enable the Decision Central DMN designer, which is the graphical user phase to create a DMN model. Two, how to use the Decision Central DMN designer. Three, how to deploy a DMN project on the execution server. And four, how to interact with the deploy DMN model using REST API. So stay tuned. Until the next video, thank you.